It's a pleasure having you back again here, my friends, on Will Edu Tech. And in this video, we'll be looking at the solutions to questions 45 and 46 on the May 2012 CSEC math exam pass paper. Now it states item 45 refers to the following diagram below. Now 45, the pie chart shows the preference in drinks of a group of students. If 12 students prefer chocolate, then the total number of students is. So basically what they want us to find is the total number number of students who took part in the survey okay first they gave us they gave us some critical information that 12 students prefer chocolate and let's underline that piece of information so we have a total of 12 students now what we need to do first uh, we need to find the sector angle uh, that represents chocolate okay since they gave us the amount of students who prefer chocolate then we need to find the sector angle that represents chocolate and if you notice my friends this angle here would be the angle that we're speaking about now a quick observation if you should look carefully uh, the the line segment AC okay cut the the circle or cut the pie chart into two equal parts okay so this is a straight line and if you notice they gave us this angle here that represent the amount of students who drank milk and that's 120 degrees so what we need to find the first thing before we can start our calculations we need to find the angle BOC that would represent this this 12 students okay so we can simply say angle BOC must be equal to and if you notice as we have said it's a straight line and we have a part of that we have a part of that we have the angle that is boa that represents this portion okay so we can simply say this is 180 since angles on a straight line sum to 180 minus 120 so we would be left with a total of 60 degrees so what this is saying guys is that the total number the angle the sector angle here that represents the total number of students in this case which is 12 that that preferred chocolate is 60 degrees okay now we can use this piece of information to calculate the total amount or the total number of students in the survey because this essentially is saying a fraction of this pie chart and I, I think that's obvious a piece of it a slice of it prefers chocolate and that number of students who prefer chocolate is 12 so I'm saying I need a fraction which is and the fraction is 60 out of 360 and why 360 because this is a point that we're at here my friends and if you notice um angles at a point at this complete point all of this and i'll just i'll just circle it for you all of this angle if i should add up all of this my friends all the angles that are at this point o would sum to 360 so really what i'm taking is 60 out of 360 as a fraction now i could simply say having said that i could simply say now let x or let some variable it doesn't matter okay i could simply say let let k be the number the total number of students okay so we could say 60 over 360 uh, multiply by k okay by k and remember k is the total number of students who took part in the survey and that must be equal to 12 okay and hopefully this makes some sense because um 60 out of out of 360 in terms of degrees prefer chocolate and if you notice the amount of persons who prefer chocolate of the total amount of students worked out to be 12 so simply we can just go ahead and transpose we know that 10 into 60 goes 60 times and 10 into 360 goes 36 times okay guys so really what we have left here is 6 upon and let me just write it here we have left 6 upon 360 upon 36 rather times k times my my variable k which is equal to 12 of course and this can be further simplified i can say 6 into itself goes once and 6 into 36 goes six times so really what we have left here uh, and, I, and i can just rewrite it on the side here i really have k k upon six which is equal to 12 okay hope that makes sense because what you have here would be 6 into itself goes once one st one times k is k and i have a 6 in my denominator so that's basically k upon 6 and that is equal to 12 i could turn this into a fraction and i could just simply cross multiply okay guys so i could say k times 1 which is k 
and I could then say 6 times 12, which is 72. So this would be k is equal to, because k times 1 is k, and 6 twelves would give me 72. So obviously, option B would be the correct choice, okay? Which is 72 students would be the total number of students who took part in the survey. Hope that was useful. See you in the next videos. Bye-bye.